efforts have been moving towards getting the public back to see that the Trinity is a very usable and a very unique opportunity in the Fort Worth area. So our goal is to be proactive and protect the river and the public's use of the river so that it never does become a polluted stream. The Trinity River has changed dramatically over time. Once a river that was mainly used as a dumping ground, it's now a place that people gather to enjoy. A big part of the Trinity's renewal is due to the Tarrant Regional Water District. And so we're looking to maintain or improve the quality of the Trinity River as it flows through Fort Worth so that we can still engage the public at the water's edge and in fact on and in the water. In its pursuit to protect the Trinity River, the Water District has set its sights on stormwater and helping new developments that are sprouting up around the Fort Worth floodway. Replacing grassy areas with rooftops and parking lots increases runoff, and the idea is to keep pollutants from washing off properties and into the Trinity's flow. Everything that falls within the city of Fort Worth ends up being in the Trinity River. So whatever is running off of parking lots, streets, houses, industrial sites, everything that rainfall hits ultimately goes down a city storm drain and is discharged into the river. Because of that, the district started looking at how to build in a different capacities for protecting water before it hits the Trinity. We try to take an active approach to how the development happens and how that storm water will be delivered to the river. The key here is implementing ways to treat storm water before it washes pollutants, like trash, sediment, and fertilizers, into the river. And to do it in a way that taps natural processes to make it happen. So we've come up with ways to do this that's really a amenity for the developer. If it's put in correctly, it provides a water quality treatment function at the same time. While they're capturing stormwater pollutants, and they're providing a green space for the people that live in those developments to enjoy the outdoors. In the long run, it's good for us. For the developer, it actually adds amenities that they can turn into walkways, or rain gardens, or vegetation that they would have anyway and it meets our criteria. Here's how it works. When we have a developer come to us, the first thing you do is you look at how much runoff is generated off of his development property as it exists before he does anything. When he's through and he's finished development, any of the additional runoff from added impervious area is what he has to treat. The water district doesn't require the developer to implement any particular stormwater treatment method Instead, it provides them a manual with a range of options or best management practices. Including in that manual is we have a very simple model that tells them here is the amount of reduction you need in pollutants and it calculates everything for them. All they have to do is say I'm going to put in this type of BMP and it will capture this amount of water. And typically through that design and review process back and forth the discussion we get to a very nice result. That process now allows us to look at trying to maintain at least the water quality of the river now so it doesn't get any worse. To help developers visualize how stormwater treatment might look, the Water District built a series of treatment structures at its Fort Worth campus. Installing features like rain gardens or dry stream beds helps soak up and filter rainwater before it washes off the property. And here at the southeast campus of Tarrant County Community College is another good example of how stormwater treatment can be integrated into a development's design. The site has pavers with gaps and tree wells that allow rainwater to filter down into a drain system that flows into a vegetative strip. The water continues to flow down these vegetative strips in a stair-step fashion and at the end of the treatment train you have a, a reduced level of pollutants. Another important aspect of this is it slows the water velocity down. Instead of getting rid of the water as soon as possible and as quick as possible, you want to slow that water down, create a more natural process. There are plenty of clever ways to treat stormwater before it enters the river, and each one adds up to a cleaner trinity 
for all of us. The absolute goal of this stormwater pollution prevention program is to have a clean river. And we know from experience that being proactive is much better than trying to deal with the problem after it's created. I think we're being proactive instead of reactive. We've learned from working in our watersheds and our reservoirs, trying to clean up something's a whole lot harder than keeping it from getting polluted in the first place.